Hello, Darian500 here, and this is a tutorial on 3ds Max. Basically, what I've got here is a maximized perspective um, viewport, and we're going to make a soccer ball. So, first, go to this drop down box right here, click, and then extended primitives, then um, click Hedra, then drag Hedra. I've already selected this because I've done this tutorial before and failed. Dodect I ECOS or whatever. 0 0.38 in the P of family parameters right here. And that will make um, a thing with hexagons and pentagons on it, which is what we want. Now we want to right click and convert to editable. Nah. What the hell's wrong with 3ds Max? Mm. No, I meant something wrong with my 3ds Max. Um, well, you want to convert it to an. Just, I'm just gonna go edit to poly, but you convert it into an editable that mesh. It's quite easy. I mean poly, and then you want to click face selection, and you want to select every face. So make sure to ignore back facing. It's off. Then you want to select a material ID of two, and then you want to select every pentagon every single pentagon, yes. If it's a pentagon shape, then it's definitely a pentagon. You want to click, click them all so that you get this type of thing. You you can even get rid of, you can even like um, like that. Make sure you have it look in the front viewport and if it shows all these lines here, 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 plus three or four depending on this viewport, you click. But in front, if it shows three, then you've definitely clicked every single pentagon. Then you want to make them material ID of one. Let's maximize the viewport again. After selecting one, we have selected every single thing. To make sure, just select it two and see what's not selected. And as you can see, there is nothing not selected. So now, we go to Material, material Editor by clicking M, which isn't working. Work! What the hell? Someone's changed my hotkeys. Okay, um... I do not know. remember how to get to Material Editor. Uh, material editor. That's how. Yeah. Not only this hotkey M, but something strong on my 3ds Max while recording with Camstasia. Okay. Um. Now you want to make it multi multi sub object here. You want to discard the older material because you don't need that. And then you want to go number two. And you want to set number two. And then in here you want to call this. You want to make this a ray trace to give it um, reflection you want to call this black just for labeling or something if you don't want to do that and you can you're not colorblind or something you don't have to label I'm not colorblind I'm just stating that it's okay the label if you want um, after doing that you notice that it is very glossy after being very glossy you want to do white so click standard and then go to um, ray trace. Wait for it to load. Then rename to white. Then click diffuse, make it white, and then give it a high glossiness. I mean, yeah, uh, high as 80. 80 is pretty good glossy. You could make it like 100 which is really really glossy and specular could be 200 but like it's kind of useless but you can do that if you want after doing that apply it to this object and then you will select you will close that because now you no longer need that now you will click edges you will select all edges by clicking Control A or just drag in a box around them. You will go down and click Split. 
And now if you click Control A again, you'll probably see where it says 90 edges, select 180, but you don't need to do that. So select off edges. Now you want to make it turbo smoothed. You click down to the modifier list and go down to turbo smooth in the T. Because um, the modifier list is arranged in alphabetical order. So you click turbo smooth and in iterations or iterations, whatever you want to call it, click to. Now you want to spherify to make it the round shape like that. But obviously it's not really a soccer ball yet. As you can see, it doesn't the kinks in it ain't that really good at showing at the moment. You can barely see them, in other words. And so, for that, you want to make another edit poly. You want to click polygons, and you want to select every single polygon. As you can see, because the um, Turbo Smooth, there are 720 polygons. You want to click settings next to extrude, which is a little box there. What that will do is it come up with the um, caddy. Click one and click tick. Now you want to mesh move, so you go down to here and here, and then you go down to mesh move. Leave the iterations to one. Left click off. And yeah. Now you can see that this is a soccer ball. And to show you that it's a soccer ball, we will have a look at it. I want to move it down to ground zero, so let's go here and make it zero by zero. Now it's in the middle. So let's watch it. Okay, let's render it. And there you go, a soccer ball. So that's it by Darian500, and out.